Think you've heard it all when it comes to Tinder horror stories? Think again. These three tales will have you second-guessing every swipe right. Story 1 I matched with this guy on Tinder, who seemed really sweet and charming. He was funny, and we had a lot in common. So we decided to meet up for a date at a popular restaurant in town. Things were going well at first. We had a nice conversation over dinner, and I felt like I was really starting to like him. But then, things took a turn for the worse. After we finished our meal, he asked me if I wanted to come back to his place for a nightcap. I declined, saying that I wanted to take things slow. He seemed understanding, and we said our goodbyes. Later that night, I received a barrage of text messages from him, telling me how much he liked me and how he couldn't stop thinking about me. I didn't reply to any of them, hoping he would take the hint and leave me alone. The next day, I woke up to find out that he'd sent me a dozen roses at my office, along with a note saying how much he enjoyed our date and how he hoped we would see each other again soon. I was a little freaked out, but I tried to brush it off as a sweet gesture. But things only got worse from there. He started showing up at my office unannounced, leaving me gifts and notes. He even followed me home a few times. I was terrified and didn't know what to do. Finally, I reached out to the police, and they helped me file a restraining order against him. He never contacted me again after that. But I still have nightmares about what could have happened if I hadn't taken action. Story 2 I matched with this guy on Tinder who seemed like the perfect catch. He was tall, dark, and handsome, and we had a lot in common. We went on a few dates and I felt like things were really starting to click between us. One night, we decided to go back to his place after a date. We were fooling around in his bedroom when he suddenly pulled out a gun and pointed it at my head. I was paralyzed with fear. He told me that he was a hitman, and that he had been hired to kill me. He said that he had started to like me, and didn't want to go through with it, but that he needed me to help him get out of the situation. I was in shock and didn't know what to do. He told me that he needed me to fake my own death so that he could collect the money and disappear. He said that if I didn't comply, he would have no choice but to kill me. I agreed to help him, not knowing what else to do. We staged a fake suicide, and he helped me disappear. He took the money and disappeared himself, leaving me alone and terrified. It took me years to recover from the trauma of that night, and I still have nightmares about it to this day. I've since deleted all of my dating app accounts and have sworn off online dating for good. Story 3 I matched with this guy on Tinder who seemed really charming and funny. We hit it off right away, and we decided to go on a date to a local amusement park. At first, Everything was going great. We rode the rides, ate cotton candy, and had a lot of fun together. But then he started acting strange. He kept insisting that we go on this one ride, even though I was afraid of heights and didn't want to go on it. I tried to politely decline, but he kept pressuring me, saying that it would be a great experience. Eventually, I gave in, and we got on the ride. As soon as it started moving, I knew I had made a huge mistake. I was screaming and holding on for dear life, but he seemed to be enjoying himself. Then, something even worse happened. As we were on the ride, I realized that he had drugged me. I started feeling dizzy and disoriented, and I knew I had to get off the ride before it was too late. I started yelling for the ride operator to stop the ride, but he didn't hear me. My date just sat there, grinning at me as I struggled to hold on. I knew I had to act fast. I mustered up all the strength I had and managed to unbuckle my seatbelt. I climbed over the safety bar and jumped off the ride as it was moving. I hit the ground hard and rolled a few times, but I managed to avoid any serious injuries. My date was still on the ride, laughing like nothing had happened. 
I stumbled away as fast as I could and called the police. They arrived quickly and arrested him for drugging and attempting to harm me. It was a terrifying experience, and it took me a long time to trust anyone again. I'm grateful that I was able to escape and get help, but I know that not everyone is as lucky. These stories show that dating apps can be a dangerous place, and it's always important to prioritize your safety when meeting someone new. Trust your instincts, and don't be afraid to speak up if something feels off. Always let a friend or family member know where you are and who you're with. And most importantly, if you ever feel unsafe or uncomfortable, leave the situation immediately and seek help. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And stay safe out there.